Living in Florida, we're no stranger to snakes. <laughs> it seems like this constantly comes up, our snake friends. We have our fair share of snake stories in the news, especially this time of year. And just like us, they don't love the cold weather. But you like to name yours. You and Kirsten like to name right, yours. Right, mine snakes. is Brian, Brian, who lives outside my front door. Mm -hmm. Kind of spooks you every once in a while. Mm -hmm. But since you could be seeing more now that it's warmer, y'all need to know which ones to avoid completely. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Bowles is here now to show us which snakes are the most dangerous. Well, personally, I want to avoid all of them. So There'll be no naming snakes for me, but if you're out enjoying the weather, you have a better chance of seeing one. The good news here, of the 50 snake species native to Florida, only six are poisonous. But some harmless snakes can fool you by impersonating dangerous ones when trying to avoid predators. So how can you tell them apart? Well, our partners at Florida Today put together this guide to help you, and first, Wildlife officials say the easiest way to tell scarlet king snakes from coral snakes is to remember that coral snakes have black round noses and the non-venomous scarlet king snake has a red pointed nose. You can see that right there. And you can also remember the saying, if red touches yellow, it's bad for a fellow. If red touches black, he's a friend of Jack. So next up, it can be pretty tough to tell a banded water snake from a cotton mouth since all brown snakes look pretty similar. But a cotton mouth is a semi-aquatic viper are often found near fresh water and its bite can be deadly. Banded water snakes can make things tricky by flattening their heads to look like vipers. The visual differences here, a cotton mouth has a heavy body and a blocky wedge-shaped head. A water snake has a slender body and a small head with no distinct neck. All right, now let's talk hog noses and copperheads, two things I don't ever want to talk about again. Hog noses are harmless, but they do try to mimic vipers or cobras. Copperheads are the ones you want to avoid, so if you come across a patchy brown snake, use your ears because copperheads don't make noise, but a hog nose will hiss when impersonating. Now they also have rounder, puffier heads and black black eyes and copperhead's eyes are yellow. Now the differences between a rattlesnake and an eastern indigo snake are a bit more obvious. Indigo snakes can be up to seven feet long with black or dark blue scales and you can pick out a rattlesnake by its spotty coloring and triangular head and its less lengthy body. And of course its signature rattle. Now this is all a lot to remember so head to clickorlando.com right now to see this full guide and be sure to bookmark it to take on your next outdoor adventure. You don't need any snakes scares. Hope I don't need Book that one. <laughs> yeah. Mark. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, be remain calm enough on an outdoor adventure to pull up the bookmark, but a good idea. But if you do name the black racers that live at your house, it makes them less startling when they pop out. Oh, okay. is that the case? That's, that's why that's we name the them That's psychology all. behind yes. it. My yes. question is, I mean, how do you even get close enough to see what color eyes they are? I mean, I'm just mean. running the other way. Mm -hmm. Oh, well.